right guys welcome back to frugal homestead so today I want to share with you how I make our strawberry milkshake protein ice cream now for those of you who don't know this summer me and Missy's been back on that grind cutting some weight dieting down getting ready for full-blown summer now with both of us already shaving a bunch of weight we want to share this easy low calorie recipe with you guys that'll get you filled up use it as a meal replacement whatever you want now with that said we do live in inflationary times and you guys know that we're the frugal homestead so we hate spending more than we have to on our products such as protein now in the past my protein has been our go-to but with them even with their best codes now jacking their prices up 20 percent we wanted to bring you an old school option we used to use that might fit your budgets a little better because i know they did ours this is nutricost all right they have flavors that range from the strawberry milkshake the chocolate chocolate peanut butter salted caramel and many others it does come in an isolate or the concentrate like this one here now you can pick up these tubs five pound tub for less than 50 bucks a piece right now guys that is less than ten dollars a pound now if you're interested in any of these there will be links in the description that you can pick these up they are channel links here for our Amazon affiliate so they do help the channel doesn't cost you any more that said I want to tell you please be careful if you go to Walmart and try and buy something like Equate or Body Fortress or one of the other cheaper versions off the shelf there because since their price has been going up as well they decided to put in a bunch of sugar and other fillers into theirs which you can clearly see by their calorie count that they've jacked their calorie count way up but kept their prices the same they're just using binders fillers and like sugars in there so make sure you don't go down that route because it's not worth the money go buy a quality product and now let's get on to the video and let me show you how to make this ice cream all right guys so this recipe is super simple 170 calories don't overthink it you definitely do not need all these ingredients but it really makes it taste a lot better if you do it this way and it'll actually fill up the whole blender at only 170 calories come on so first we're gonna open up our ninja blender I do suggest if you're gonna be making protein ice cream a lot use a ninja blender will work way better than any standard blender so we're gonna put what would be equivalent to almost two trays of ice in the blender for the floor now as you can see it's about three quarters of the way full of ice this is why the ninja blender is important because those three blades will crush this up whereas a regular blender you're gonna be taking like a wooden spoon and trying to smash it and it's not good next step sugar-free syrup this is the five calorie variant we're gonna put two tablespoons in all right now we're going to add a third of a cup of water next we're going to add one heaping tablespoon of vanilla light greek yogurt all right now you can use any sweetener you want we tend to use stevia or this basically it's like basically splenda we're going to go ahead and put two tablespoons of that in because I like mine really sweet. But one is usually enough for most people, honestly. Now, our strawberry milkshake protein powder, guys. This is key. So we're going to get us a full scoop, which, as you can see, their scoops are huge. But that's because as you can see that's 25 grams of protein right there all by itself so now this is the part that's not absolutely necessary but it makes it a lot creamier and makes it expand more and that's xanthan gum now they have a great value version of this if you want to go to walmart and get it now but the cardington is carried at most stores now this bag is basically out but i usually put in i don't know it's usually a half teaspoon 
But that's the end of that bag. So now that we've got all that in there, we're gonna put our lid on and we're gonna blend this. Now I wanna tell you guys, this takes time. This is like five minutes. I like to pulse it some to bust the ice up and then put it on high and it's gonna run for like, I don't know, five minutes and you'll see it fill up. guys show you guys what we're working with here now you may want to make a half serving of this I mean for a guy like me a big guy that can eat a lot I'll sit down and eat this serving and I'm pretty much stuffed but I know my wife can only eat like half this much and it takes her a long time to do that. A lot of mornings we'll split this for breakfast. Now I make a bigger portion then, but take a look at that guys. And look at, look at how much is in there. That's not a little bit of ice cream, that's a lot of ice cream. And see the smooth and creamy texture? And it tastes exactly like a strawberry milkshake. Now, like I said, I like mine really sweet. So when I add in my sweetener, I do two tablespoons. You could do one if you don't like it that sweet. But this is delicious. And I mean, it's pretty warm in here and it's not melting fast. Now, don't judge me because I do sit down with this whole thing and just sit down and eat it at a time. I don't bother to put it in bowls. I'm just trying to get across to you guys though. That is the best protein ice cream that you can make, honestly. Now we have been working on some other recipes. But right now, this is kind of what our everyday, you know, flavor is. We do the strawberry milkshake in the morning and I like at lunchtime if I'm wanting one it's been a hot day or something and then we have a dessert one we do for dinner and I'll be making a video on that later but 170 calories for that guys I guarantee you you're gonna be full but I need to eat my ice cream and now that you know how to make it you need to go make your own but with that said, if you haven't already, and I don't know why you wouldn't have, go down, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can see all of our upcoming videos. Make sure you go down and leave us a like, comment, let us know if you tried this and if you like it, or let us know what your latest protein hack to cut some weight this summer is. Or you can tell us where you're getting your protein to beat all this inflation that is absolutely killing the protein market right now. I'd love to hear what kind of brands you guys are using, what kind of price points you're getting them at, because we're all in this together to get healthy, get fit, and save some money. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. 
Hope that I can get away with eating this whole thing before my wife finds out. <laughs>